Kia ora koutou. This is a request from Nathan from the March 2024 Pure 3 paper, and it's paper 32. So it's a differential equation, and it's worth nine marks, so you know there's going to be a little bit of work to do. Um, if you take this slowly and you've got a good grip on the basics, there's nothing too bad about it, but there are quite a few places to make small errors. So let's just quickly read through it. Um, we've got two variables. We've got x and theta, and they satisfy this de here. And we're given that when y is 0, sorry, when theta is pi on 4, y is equal to 0. So we have to solve the DE, and then we have to find the exact value of tan theta when y equals 1. So note that we don't need to get the exact value of theta, just tan theta. Right, so let's start off by separating the variables. And you can see that we've got 1 plus y dy sitting here nicely where we want it. And we've got e to the 3y here, so we'll divide both sides through by that. And on the right-hand side, we're going to have 1 over 1 plus cos of 2 theta, d theta. And we'll integrate both sides. On the left-hand side, um, let's start by rewriting this as e to the negative 3y times 1 plus y, dy. And on the right-hand side, this looks bad until you think about the three possible double angles that we've got. If we um, want to undo the 1 plus, which looks like it might be going to be a problem, we can use the 1 plus 2 cos squared zeta minus 1 d theta. So I'm going to work through on the right-hand side, and we'll see that this falls out really nicely now. Here we've got 1 half sec squared of theta d theta. Think back to your basic trig derivatives, and we know that tan theta differentiates to give us sec squared of theta. So on this side, we've got a half of tan theta plus c. So now we turn to the left-hand side, and we've got a little bit more work to do. This doesn't look too nice, but we can expand this to be two terms. So on the left-hand side, we have e to the negative 3y into 1 plus y dy. And that's equal to e to the negative 3y, which is very easy to integrate, plus y e to the negative 3y dy. So this is going to be fine. And on this bit here, we're going to use IBP. So e to the negative 3y dy is equal to negative one-third e to the negative 3y. I'm going to put down the plus c just out of habit, but we know that in the end we're not going to have that in there, right? We're just going to have the plus c all whomped together on the right-hand side. Now let's do um, the integral of y e to the negative 3y dy. So this is about as easy an IBP problem as you're going to get. Um, let's look at what we can do. Well, we'll integrate this one. And we'll leave the y, and then on the second go through, we'll integrate this and we'll differentiate this. So putting that together, we get, let's see, y times negative one third e to the negative three y minus the integral of one, differentiating the y, times the integral of this, which is negative one third e to the negative three y dy. That gives me negative one-third y e to the negative three y plus one-third of, yet again, negative one-third e to the negative three y, and I'll whack in plus c there as well. All right, let's clean up the left-hand side. So the left-hand side is the sum of those two integrals. We should have some brackets in here. So the left-hand side is equal to negative one-third e to the negative three y minus one-third y e. I've lost an e in there, guys. Sorry about that. There, let's come back. Minus one-ninth e to the negative three y plus c. Collecting up like terms in here, well, we've got this one and this one. So that's negative 4 ninths e to the negative 3y minus 
one third y e to the negative three y. So now let's put everything together because I've finished doing my um, left hand side integral. If we go all the way back to my de up here, we've now got our left hand side worked out and it has to equal a half tan, tan theta plus c. So what do we have? Negative 4 ninths e to the negative 3y minus a third y e to the negative 3y is equal to a half tan theta plus c. Okay, so I've collected up all of my constants of integration into one term, and we just have to substitute in now. We're told, what were we told? That when y equals, I think when y equals 0, uh, when theta equals pi on 4, y equals 0. So tan of pi on 4 is equal to 1. We have negative 4 ninths e to the 0 minus a third times 0 is equal to a half times 1 plus c. That gives me negative 4 ninths minus a half is equal to c. A half is 9 eighteenths. Is that right? That's not what I got before. Oh, yeah. Because I need to double this, so minus 8 eighteenths, minus 9 eighteenths. C is a pretty ugly negative 17 over 18. So now we're up to here, and that's as far as I need to go to finish off the very last bit, which is to find an exact value for tan theta. Right, so let's just cleanly put that together. I'll just shrink all of that a bit. We get this negative 4 ninths. E, I'm sure most of you have like hung up the video by now, or whatever hanging up the video is called. We've got that, half tan theta plus 17 over 18. Is it plus or is it minus? It's minus. No, that's wrong. Definitely a minus sign in there. Now we're going to substitute in y equals 1. So we don't need to rearrange with logs or anything like that. We're just going to sub because our purpose is just to get an exact value of tan theta. So negative 4 ninths e to the negative 3 minus 1 third times 1 times e to the negative 3 is equal to a half tan theta minus 17 over 18. Right, combining all of this gives me negative 4 ninths minus 3 ninths e to the negative 3 plus 17 eighteenths is equal to a half tan theta. So we're back to basically glorified year 9 algebra. What do we have here? We have negative 7 ninths e to the power of 3 plus 17 eighteenths all times by 2 is equal to tan theta. Now I'm not happy leaving it like that. I think that looks really ugly. So let's clean it up a bit. We get 17 ninths minus 14 over 9 e cubed is equal to tan theta. I'd definitely give that a tick. Or we could do a final answer of 17 e cubed minus 14 is equal to tan of theta. The mark schedule's got that one there. So there you go. Um, Nathan, fantastic question to send me in. Um, please keep on sending them, guys. I have found my lost stylus, so all is well. And um, I'm just about to post some old level three stuff for you. So that's your kind of reward for watching to the end, is you're the first person to know that there'll be some exciting new practice excellence questions on Google Classroom in a few minutes.